familiar with that. So this preliminary drawing, just a little bit enhanced, and he's kind of, again, the gesture is this curved uh, back. He's got his tail between his legs. He's kind of sulking. And then you have this four paws all on the same plane, so stretching that out with a little of the perspective is going to give you a little help building that up. <clears throat> the circular part, finding that center line, and then you can see the eye line is low from the vantage point that you have, so that's where these are going to start off. So the circular parts, I already have them sketched in, but that gives you a little bit of the beginning. Again, the eyebrows are just an extension of this. So when you see that coming across, but that's the general circle for it. If the nose was right underneath, it would be right there, but it's extended now. So it's coming across the front. And this is also has a circular shape. So you can kind of see the, uh, see through this one. There's the center line. So these two circular pieces, just kind of exaggerating them a bit. Center part of the nose and coming down. So always looking for subtle details. It's a sad section here. The nose going across. You can add some of the nostrils now that you get a little bit further with some of the drawing there. And just building that section up there so you can enhance some of it. Just kind of adding to it. The ears this time, you don't really see where they're connected. And the same with the front part, this pattern that shows where the eye line is, is right where that two circles kind of meet. This goes up and around for a little bit of the texture on the coat of the dog, pattern of the dog there. So that builds that section up for you. <clears throat> a little bit of cheeks coming right out of the corner. the dogs there and then the muzzle coming up front. So kind of practice from drawing the heads of the dog. Here's a circular section, just the under underside of it. And again making the pupils a little bit teary eyed there. add a little bit more highlights in there just to give it the emotion, the feeling there in the top part, extra pieces for the hair. But the ear, uh, you don't really see, it's kind of wrapped around, kind of draped, almost like a curtain. Just doing some of the cross hatch lines so you can see the difference. And here this one wraps around where you can't really see it hidden there. So then connecting the body or making the body, that's where you're using these circular shapes for the rib cage, kind of drawing the pelvis in there, connecting it there. The neck is going into a cylinder, <clears throat> the arms and the forepaws and the legs, and you see that. Here's a corner, just kind of a stick figure coming down, even on the back. You could put that in there as well. But they come out, and there's a cylinder shape, and it comes down. And there's another cylinder shape, round part for the paw. The opposite side, you can't see too much, so you're trying to assume everything, drawing through the character, and building that section to the front. And the same with the rib cage. so as we go back hips, you see the hip, and then you have to know a little bit of the, the dog leg, kind of cocks itself back and forth. Any place you get, put a joint, maybe put a circle there. Cylinder coming out, and then a circle for the paw. Building the tails coming right down and around, right through the legs there. 
that gives you a lot to work with. And then when you start to take a look at, say, the arm, front arm, the paw, kind of has the curve, shows a little bit of the bending down. It's almost tilted and tapered in this direction. So you can round off a little bit here. Keep this rectangular shape in mind. A little bit of the geometry. And that's just going to help you locate the section so that large paw coming down. Kind of in a little bit of a shoulder section. We'll go ahead and put the collar. He's got the collar. And the neck. So here's these riveted collars, for example. And then now you can see a little bit of the underbelly. Tummy. Builds that up. And same with the paw that's out here. Again, think of it's circular, but think of it rectangular just to get some structure really built up in there. And it'll help with the, the drawing all together. Of course, the head and the ear are in front of it, so just make sure the overlap is bold. And that gives you the front, front stake. <coughs> just moving back to the hind legs there. Take a look. This is a circular shape. Let's see how it has this little overlap right there. coming around and down to the paw. Now again, here's a good example of taking that shape, finding a rectangle. There it is in perspective, for example. Seeing that corner. There's a circle inside of it. so you get a lot of feel to it. And then if you just offset, for example, just jump ahead here at the shading. Offsetting a little bit of a highlight right here, or a reflected light. And that'll help tone the drawing in pretty quickly. The other hind leg is back there, interrupted by the tail coming through. tail in there, and then the other hind leg. Draw right through the tail just to get the proportion. Here's the corner of it, matching up with this one. And here's a circle, here's still the rectangle in perspective. the paw, but it's right up in front there. And just put a little tone. Represent that section there. And just give the tail a darker value just to differentiate between the two. Is you have the character kind of drawn in there, full, full-bodied figure. And now it's just a matter of going back and finding some of the heavier lines on the base of it, and the shading of it. Again, 
finding that edge right there, offsetting it a little bit, just blending in real quick, and it gives you a sense of depth real, real quickly. This one, <clears throat> and this hind leg, you can actually give a tone because it'll give it the value, but also keep it in the distance, and that'll build it up on the further side of it. And that kind of builds that section up. Go back into some of the detail face. Plenty of time there. And here you can try to get the feeling of it being wet. Show the nostril, at least the shape of it. That builds that piece up. Once you get the basic shape of the, for example, the ear, you can always accentuate it with the detail on the edges, just down the outline. Here's the cross contour lines again. Helps you build that up. Up under the collar. flat tone for the other leg, just to keep it in the distance there. Here's some of the cross contour of the top light that still shows the fur. Rated segments here. Detail just gonna go inside the eye. 